In the early stages of World War II, the United States launched numerous tank development projects with the help of its vast industrial base. In 1941, considering the need for air transport, a uniquely designed jumping tank called the Baker Jumping Tank began development. The Baker Jumping Tank has two basic models, one with a 4x4 chassis and one with an 8-wheel chassis. The former is equipped with an M140mm cannon, while the latter was planned to be equipped with a more powerful British QF 17-pound cannon. Today, we will briefly introduce the Baker 4x4 jumping tank. Although it is called a tank, it is actually more of an armored wheeled vehicle. It has a front and rear axle distance of 3.48 meters and a width of 3 meters. Each wheel has independent suspension with a hydraulic recoil system. The most unique feature of this system is that it can squat by compressing the springs through the combined action of the springs and hydraulic equipment, and then release the springs to complete a jump upwards. This allows the entire vehicle to leave the ground, similar to a grasshopper jumping. This design allows the tank to overcome certain obstacles or ditches. The tank's power source is unknown. According to some articles, because the tank itself is very light, weighing only about 4.53 tons, the engine's power output should be around 100 horsepower. During testing, the tank reached a speed of about 64 kilometers per hour. It can jump to a height of about 1.25 meters or jump forward a distance of about 1.2 meters. The recoil system absorbs some of the impact upon landing, preventing excessive jolting for the crew. The tank's armor is virtually non-existent, at least on the prototype. It is similar to a regular civilian vehicle. Perhaps the production model would consider increasing its level of protection, at least to withstand light weapons. The tank's main gun is a 40mm cannon, which is not mounted on the top of the vehicle but rather in the front half of the vehicle, similar to the T-28 tank destroyer. The turret does not have 360 degrees rotation capability. The Baker 4x4 jumping tank is actually just a designer's wishful thinking. The concept of a jumping tank itself is flawed. The designer hoped to give the tank the ability to jump in order to overcome obstacles that regular tanks cannot cross. However, due to technological limitations, a jumping tank does not have an absolute advantage over regular tanks in terms of jumping height or distance. On the contrary, the crew members have to endure the impact of jumping. From a structural perspective, in order to give a tank the ability to jump, a new jumping structure must be adopted, which not only increases the complexity of the tank but also limits its weight. As a result, the overall combat capability of the tank is greatly weakened. In addition, some people have pointed out that a jumping tank is impractical in actual use because the crew members inside the tank often cannot accurately judge the height of obstacles and other numerical values. If the jumping height is misjudged, the tank could easily collide with obstacles, causing significant damage. Therefore, a jumping tank is not feasible. Some people have suggested creating such vehicles in related games, but the jumping performance of tanks itself is quite lackluster and would cause operational difficulties. Introducing such a model would probably not bring much playability and at most would be considered a special game collectible.